What's up guys, it's Crikey here. And starting from today, I am going to be doing VOD reviews every other Friday, if not every Friday. And I'm doing them for free. All you have to do is go in my Discord and put down your VODs in the VOD review section. So the following game is in Silver 1, and we're against a Mordekaiser, which I think is a pretty good lane for Yorick. So here's the runes to use this game. Nothing too wrong with it. It's basically the runes for winning laning phase, so if you do take these runes, you want to play aggressive and try to win lane. You could also take Alacrity since you want to win lane and attack speed helps a lot in laning phase. And another mistake I saw is that you took armor runes instead of magic resist which I assume is a mistake because you really need magic resist against the Mordekaiser. Alright coming to lane now. Uh, if you've seen my matchup guide that I made not too long ago you'd know that you have kill pressure from level 2 to 4. Potentially onwards pretty easily but yeah so I'm assuming you're gonna, you know this because you've seen my videos. And you're gonna s play towards that so let's hope you do that. Alright, you got a lane prior, so I'm gonna do, what I'll, I tell you to do is try to get your first grave stack right now. Yeah, Alright, cool. Just keep stacking up. Let's see how the Mordekaiser plays. It's, okay, he wastes his Q, which is really big actually. He can freely farm for a bit. Alright, you go for a poke there. Now, I wouldn't really waste my poke on Mordekaiser level 1. Unless you have grasp, I don't really see the point of it. It doesn't really do anything. I'll just focus on getting the stacks. Alright, so go for a stack now. He just uses Q, so I can go for the stack right now real quick. Alright. Just keep stacking up. He's gonna get two before you probably if he pushes quicker than you. There you go, you got pushed quicker than you. Uh yeah, there you go. You got level two, now go in. You got three stacks, go in. Keep going. Pop your crop and pop. Okay, and keep going. No no no, you backed off. Alright. That was the first mistake. You could have killed him right there. Yeah, you, you could have killed him right there. Let me show you uh what you could have done. Alright, so let's fast forward this real quick. Well, you could have done that. Oh, what the flip? Oh, crap. Like, that's my bad. Let me, let me go forward again. Alright. What you should have done is you should have straight up pop your crop and pop. Now, you didn't pop it. You didn't pop out all. And then you just keep auto attacking him. Don't. You wait. You just wasted an auto attack moving downwards like that. Keep auto attack. Nah. You see that? You cancelled like two auto attacks there. And you still cancel. You're not even auto attacking him. You could have all in there. That was such an easy all in. You'd win that. I don't think you've seen my video. <laughs> Watch my uh, my Mordecai's video. You can win that level 2 very easily. He would have died there, actually. If you popped your crap and put your cookies, kept an auto attacking him like you should have, and he would have died. That was such an easy kill. So That's free kill number 1 gone right there, which, um, which is a bit unfortunate. Like He would have died there. It's unlucky, I guess. But yeah, it's pushing towards you. You can get a freeze around here, potentially. He's going to probably push it towards you though, so that's not going to happen. Alright, so your next window I'd say is level 3 to 4, considering this wave is too big for you to fight into now. Why does it do that? Uh, you don't want to fight this, just run away, or run away, run away. You don't want to fight that. Alright, so you just want to freely uh, see us around here. It's fine. Alright, if, if you had the stacks, you could have went in right now, but you don't have any stacks to go in. Why does it do that? No. Just keep stacking up. Uh, if you, you probably have three ghoul stacks by level 4. And then you could all in him then. So let's see how this goes. Alright, he got hit by Z. It's unfortunate. Try to dodge that. Alright, tank the tower shot. I need a W. His W is very big. Okay, he has no W. Alright, so what you're going to do is ASAP. Try to get level 4. You're not, you need a few minutes to get level 4. Alright, so let's see. You got your ghouls. You got graves right now. You got four graves. You have four graves now. As soon as you get level 4, you need to land your E and you need to all in. Straight. And you're going to win it. Alright, go, 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 go. Land your E, land your E. Please. All right, cool. Now, then you go in. Oh no, you just queued a minion. Go in. You can still go. You can still win this. You have crapped him, but oh, no, you don't. You still win it though. You still win it. No, don't. Oh my, you just hesitated that again. That's another free kill gun. <laughs> That's free kill number two gun. You could have won that so easily. This is this is just small mechanical mistakes you're making right now. Uh, when it comes to laning phase, it's it's already three minutes in the game. You threw away two, uh, two free kills. So what you have to do is you have to go all in. All right, you queued that. That's that's already damage gone already. It's, it's right, you still win it. Auto attack, W. And you just auto attack him. Keep auto attacking him. Not Again, you cancel the auto attack. Then you, then you auto attacked him there, yeah. But then you ran away. And then you ran back in. And then you queued. And you didn't auto. You missed like three auto attacks again. He would have been dead. He has no W. That's another free kill gun again. <laughs> that's actually funny. That's two free kills gone. That's the thing uh, in, in eaters like this. You throw away free kills that you could have got very easily. That's two free kills gone. You could have snowboarded it so hard already. It's kind of unfortunate. You need to. First thing I can say straight away, you need to play a lot more confident when it comes to your. You're cancelling way too many auto attacks. You don't understand that you can win all ins as well. 
it's a matchup issue again, which it can be very easily solved if you watch my Mordekaiser guide. Alright. Must use topside. So what I would say is play try to make him not back, play around like this, and ping spam ping uh assistance, because this is such a free kill. He's probably gonna he should be back in now. He should be back in now, so he probably can't do anything about it, but Wait, he's not backing. What ward down? Okay, this is so free. Master, you should come and pick this up for free. Ping, do a quick, do a assist me, ping. That's what you should be doing. You should ask for assistance because he probably doesn't see that. That's a free kill. He's doing wolves in instead of getting a free kill right now. What you should be doing is, is asking for assistance. Hopefully, he stays for long though. This more guy's overstaying. Yeah, you don't do any pings. You're not asking him to. All right, he's coming anyway. I think he just he finally recognized that's a free kill. All right, yeah, leave him now. You don't have to go in anymore. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. You're gonna get. Oh no, you're gonna have to flash. All right, you got his flash, flash for flash, I guess, and Masti has to flash as well. You could have played that better. We have to press W and walk away. Masti would have got that. There's no way he would have escaped. You kind of overstayed that for no reason. You know, he was coming. You know, where is he gonna go? But it's just knowledge mistake there again. You should ask him to help you push this in as well because now the wave's in a awkward position. But instead he's doing that. You should have asked him to push it. Because you can't push this alone. You're not going to be able to do it. He'll TP and stop you from pushing it. So you just have to back and TP back into lane now at this point. Wait, how do you check how much gold you have? I completely forgot how you do this. Okay, I don't know how you check how much gold you have sadly. Because I'm kind of a noob when it comes to this. But you should have enough gold for Merc Treads to be honest. Let's see what you buy. You buy a Phage. Honestly, I would say to go Merc Treads in this situation, since you don't have any MR runes, you went for eight armor runes, so Merc Treads would have been a better op uh, situation. Uh, he, more movement speed is good as well against Mordkaiser, because when he traps in his ult, you can run away from him. With Phage, I would only go this far if I could kill lead, if I'm playing aggressive, if I'm winning every uh, trade, which you're kind of not doing. You need MR, because you, you, don't have, uh, you don't have MR, of course, so you need that Merc Treads. And, yeah... You can outrun him in situations which you need. Honestly, I, I suggest you go Merc Treads your first back in this matchup every time for a silver player. But yeah, you should have TP'd, but it's fine. You missed some minions or whatever. You didn't. Yeah, just just you need to activate your maiden and push this in. He's gonna freeze it. He's got a freeze going on here. So what you need to do is activate your maiden and push it in, ASAP. No, don't stay back. You're staying back. You're missing these minions for no reason now. What should have happened? You should have. If you notice they got a freeze going, unbreak the freeze ASAP with your maiden. Because he's going to freeze it now, perma freeze it. That's Nocturne ult. As soon as Nocturne ulted, you should have ulted and pushed this in. Because you know what would happen? He would have thought Nocturne's coming for him. Alright, he activated pretty late, but it's fine. You activate it. Push it in now. That's good. It's, now you broke the freeze. And you took a lot of damage for no reason. This lane's a bit stale now. What I want you to do is probably just shove it in every time with your maiden and roam into the jungle. Get some camps, you know. But let's see what you do and I'll critique what you do. Alright, you're playing a bit passive. What I want you to shove it in, you're playing way too passive as a Yorick player. You want to shove this in ASAP. He has ult, yes, but you can play around his ult. You know, you can... I'm going to put a stream ball link. I'm going to put a link in the description. Not in the description, in the comment section of this video if you're watching from this far. And I'm going to show you how to outplay the Mordekaiser without QSS. Because right now you're playing too passive. You can outplay him very easily. Uh, just keep pushing it in. But I'll put a link in the comments. And you can guys, you guys can see how to play against Mordekaiser when he ults to you. Because you can very easily outplay this. You're playing it too passive. You need to shove this in. Then again, it's pushing towards you. So you can right now it's pushing towards you. So it's fine. But now, but then now you're pushing it. So it's not pushed towards you anymore. So you're gonna have to shove it in now. What, what I would I do is I'll shove this in and I'll get get scuttle crabbed and I'll get vision down in the blue side. Because right now you're doing nothing. You know, you're just kind of just stay, you're just idle. You're idling right now. It's the worst thing to do. And you're giving up maiden for free now. See this? This is really bad. What you should do is reposition like this. That's good. Now play aggressive. Now push this in. Push this in. Do we? Okay, now you did it again. You, okay, now go in, go in. <laughs> you need to push this in. You, you have an issue here. Look, he's freezing it around here. Wait, let me show you real quick. If there's minions here, all right. He got a, he got a slight freeze here. So ma no matter what happens, the minions are going to keep coming and it's going to freeze freeze around here. So what you need to do is you need to push it all the way in towards this tower to un stop the freeze. If that makes sense. That's the issue you have right now. Because he's gonna, he's going to perma freeze it. You see, he's perma freezing it. You need to push it. You need you need the casters to hit the tower. Anyways, it's gonna slow push towards you now because it's only three minions. So, where well, you're backing? I don't see them. I don't think you should back. 
Nah, it's random back time, man. I don't think should have backed there. You're gonna miss minions for no reason. Oh, you're TPing. Still, that was a waste of time. Should have shoved it in. Maybe. If... No, no. That was... that was really bad back timing on your part. You should have shoved it in. You're, 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 you're lacking the. You're lacking minion control. You don't. You don't know how wave management works. Again, I've explained this in my past videos and why people are stuck in low elo. It's because they don't have basic macro, and that's a basic macro. Uh, I uh, basic macro premise when it comes to wave management. Just shove it in. That's all you had to do. Because you don't want to keeping it here is the worst position right now, and you and, and made him die too easily as well. Are right, you shoving it now? So that's good. But your maiden's gonna die now, you know, because the way you position your maiden is really bad. You got a nice poker right now. You need to shove it. You need to shove it. Keep shoving. Keep don't don't let him don't let him freeze it again. Shove it. Let that caster sit on the tower. Why does it doing that? All right, go 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 go. Nice. All right, nice. Now the freeze has been broken. Okay, cool. You can dive him potentially. You have flash. You get. You had flash, but you tanked the tower shelf. So that was really bad. He, he, he could have killed him there. All right, cool. It's been unfrozen now. He's gonna back now. All right, let's see what you do. You can stop his back. Try and stop his back. Wait, he didn't even back anyways. Wow, what? This is such a free kill. You can kill him very easily. It doesn't matter if he has ult. You can still kill him. Alright. They didn't see whatever they're doing. You need to look around the map, you know. I mean, you don't have TP, so no point in looking at a random map at this point. Okay, he's low. You can you can set up a dive. Slow push this and set up a dive. He's overstaying this right now. So what you want to do is slow push it. Don't let him out push you. Slow push it in towards him. Alright. Up your ghouls, you're not, you're not queuing the ghouls, you need to get four stacks ASAP. Uh, four ghouls stack, All right? Go, 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 go into him, go into him. He's over push, he's over push. Oh, you, you threw you threw the window again, you threw the window again. Uh, I'll show you how I knew he was over pushed. All right, look, look at this. Most of the time in silver, they're gonna greed for this cannon. This cannon is about to die. Watch, 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 watch what happens. See this? Look at this. Look how over pushed he is now. He pushed in way too much. Look, look at this. He crosses the line. He crosses this line here. That is so free. If you land your E, you can you can W, you can Q him, you can kill him. If not, you can force it, you can uh, force his ult. But you threw the window again. What's going on? You threw the window again. You're throwing so many kill opportunity windows. Uh, you had so many times to get kills on him. You could have snowballed so hard already. But again, you threw, you threw the opportunity to get a kill. So what I'll do now is I'll just shove it. Shove it and go into his blue buff or something. I'll put walls down. Because right now, yeah, I don't think you can dive him anymore. You're not, you're not really setting up. I mean, you can still dive him, but I don't think you're setting up properly. I died. It's, oh my. Okay. <laughs> he has to back. <laughs> if if you don't kill him, if he's not backing, I, I'm gonna be disappointed in you. Shove this in ASAP. He has to die. He has to die here. It, this is this is classic overstaying. There's no reason for him to overstay. You have flash up as well. This is classic. He he, he has to die. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You can kill him, you can kill him. You can force his flash at least. At least you can force his flash. Flash for flash is fine. Ah. Could have E'd, could have W'd. You could have done a lot of stuff there, but it's alright. It's better than nothing. You zoned him out for a few for a few CS, it's fine. Uh, yeah, you could have taken the blast gun, but you kind of tanked two tower shots there. That was kind of unnecessary. You shoved us in and get a play, I guess. It's good enough. He has no TP. Ah, uh, he has TP now, actually. He just TP early, I forgot about that. Alright, now he's in the orc here. The way he's in the orc position. The only way to break this freeze is if you have Maiden up. So what you're going to do now is you're probably going to back. Now I'd suggest you get Merc Treads. Alright, Mid's almost down. Merc Treads and... Oh, you're, you're delaying the Merc Treads. Why are you delaying Merc Treads? I don't think you realise you, you didn't take MR runes. Even then, I will still get Merc Treads. Merc Treads second back is really good. Merc Treads is really good counter for the Mordecai. I know he has armor, uh, magic pen, and his kit, but Merc Treads is still good. Very good movement speed. Against the immobile Mordecai, though, movement speed is really strong. So, I suggest you get Merc Treads in your first or second back. You're kind of delaying it too much. I know I talk about don't delay a Trinity Force Power Spike, but in matchups like this, Merc Treads is really strong. 
Movement speed is very underrated, and having movement speed in this matchup is very strong. Alright, activate your maiden and try to go for all in. Which maiden should be coming up soon. It should be up by now, actually. It's up now. Going for all in. Don't use a W, but go keep going, keep going. No, you got scared again. Again, you're getting too scared for no reason. He has he has no W. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Uh, you're throwing. You're fr go, 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 go. <laughs> go. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> No, you're so free. Go, 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 go. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, you got him low, but you could have killed him, man. You could have killed him again. You're throwing away opportunities. You're throwing away free opportunities to get. You would have f five kills by now in the laning phase if you knew all these opportunities. There we go. We got a kill at least. That's good. But you could have got five of those if you knew what you're doing. That was good though. So let's shove it in. Use a W. No, no, don't, don't, no, no, no. You could have got a plate. Hello. You could've got a plate. Are you typing to someone? Stop typing and, and get that plate. No, you just you, you just threw away. Oh no. No no no. You could've got two plates there actually. You could've you could've easily got two plates there. This is what you should have done, yeah. This is what you should have done. Should have went to the tower. Use your W auto attack. Q. You had Sheen right. You could've refreshed your Sheen prox on the tower. And to refresh your Sheen prox, you need to use your ability. So what you should have done is W, auto attack Q. Auto attack E, auto attack, and you would have got two plates from that. And your mainer would have been low, but you would have reset it anyways. And you would have got two plates. If that was an extra kill, 160, 320 gold. Two plates with 320 gold, you could have got right there. But instead, you, you stood here. I, I don't know what you're doing. Like, were you typing? Were you BMing the, the Mordekaiser? I don't know. But you, you luckily, your maiden, your, your ghouls actually got the plate for you. You wouldn't have got that otherwise. You got lucky the ghouls were auto attacking. But that was two free plates gone for no reason. Extra 320 gold. So what are you doing now? Are right, you looking to roam? What I would say is, is you should have, okay, you're getting scuttled. You should have done, you should have reset and came back. But it's fine. Get scuttled if you want. Uh, you, you, okay. <laughs> you, you try to kill this guy. You could have easily killed a, I think he's not done spamping in you or anything now, but. When you were here, you should have seen what's going on here. You should have seen that it was a close 1v1 and you should have rotated ASAP to help him. You shouldn't have wasted your time on the scuttle crab at that point. I don't know if you're playing on lock screen, but you should you should have panned over to mid lane, seen that they were fighting, and should have joined in ASAP. And get your, you can get the scuttle later. Scott was there for a long time. You, you're not only a scuttle crab, right? But you should be able to pick up the kill. Actually, no, he's gonna outplay. He's gonna E out of the way. Oh, unlucky, no. Uh, just shoved the wave in and back, I guess. What I would have done is I would have backed. I got two plays backed, then I would have roamed somewhere, but that's what happens. Usually you want you want to back up to getting a kill and getting plates, you know, to use the items. So you're sitting a lot, you're sitting a lot on a lot of gold right now, a lot of free gold. But you can't back now because you got a wave coming up, and now you're gonna collapse on both sides. He's not gonna ult you. All right, use a W, use a W. Nah, you're probably dead anyways because Wally Bear's here. Unlucky. That's a class. That's that's a classic example of overstaying. You wouldn't have been in that situation if. You just pushed in the wave, got two plates, backed, used your gold advantage. That's all you had to do. But you, you put yourself in a bad situation for no reason because you overstayed. General rule of thumb, I'll make it simple for you. If you get a kill and the wave's pushed in, the wave isn't bad, you can just back, just back, alright? Don't don't overcomplicate it and start overstaying for no reason. But you're probably going to lose that. Mark doesn't run top. I don't know, what's he going to do? He can't do much. He's wasting his time. I brought this in the good official situation. Oh wait, he actually could get a kill here. Oh, damn, that was impressive. I didn't expect him to to do that much damage. He is pretty fair to be exam to be fair. Damn. Now what are you doing? You got train. Wait, why are you building AD? Why why do you build cloth armor? It's like all you care about is the Yasuo or MF, but you're playing against a Mordekaiser of Wally Bear as well. They do AP damage. Yelena is a AP damage champ. Oh, he died. But Yelena is a, is a magic, he does magic damage, right? So why are you building more cloth arm? Very confused itemization right there. You should have went Merc Treads. Merc Treads would have been important. Yes, you got a Yasuo on MF. It doesn't matter though. You got, you got, you're playing against a Mordekaiser. Merc Treads would have been so much more better in the situation. Botlane's winning hard though. Why won't, oh no. This is free, this is free. Uh, this is the same mistake I see every time. Alright, cool. This is slow pushing towards you, alright? Slow pushing it. You see the wave? It's slow pushing towards you. This this is pushing... See the wave? It's pushing towards you. Because you've got minions here. What you should have done is... 
yes, you don't have maiden, so you'd be pretty slow. But you should have taken this, taken this camp here. All right, you should have taken that camp, and you would have got extra CS, and you would have you should. You would have had goals and you could have went up and got some free CS there as well. Uh, I don't know. A lot of a lot of players they, they usually miss this. This is such a free camp. If it's slow pushing towards you, you got nothing else to do. Just get this camp. If you're on blue side, even better. You can get Grump, but you, you miss the opportunity of getting a free camp. That's free CS, free XP gone for no reason. So you're gonna you're gonna miss that, right? Yeah, you're gonna miss that, and that's why your CS per minute is pretty low as well. A lot of laners have a low CS per minute because they always forget about this camp. Hi, you players do this. Uh, the Korean guy, what's his name? Tao. Tao does this a lot. He takes this camp. It's free. No one's going to take it. Just take it, you know? And then you can talk a Thunder Wave. But now you've got a free camp here and no one's taking it. Alright, he's not going to take that. He's just, is too busy in the bot side. You could have taken both of these if you wanted to. But let's push it in and get uh, a tower. So you can get you can get a tower. It's a cannon wave, so you can get, you can get a tower. You'd have demolished us, so it's fine. You can still get a lot of uh, damage on the tower. Alright. He's gonna come. What I suggest you do is you go off, you go and get Scott or Crab and you get that, but I don't know what you're gonna do. Let's see what you're gonna do. Don't stay in lane. There's nothing you do in the lane. There's nothing you can do in lane. He's gonna slow push it towards you. You're wasting your time. You got Maiden up, pretty, I'm pretty sure. So take this, take this, come back to the lane after. But no, you're just watching him. You're watching him. You're having a fun time properly doing. You're wasting your time. You're actually wasting your time. Yeah, you're wasting your time right now. Uh, the issue is, there's a lot of downtime, right? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shove it in. You're gonna get that free CS and shove it in. Okay. What you could have done? You could have got Scuttle Crab. You could have got this, and you could have got some Vision on Herald, and probably start Herald. If not, you could have got Scuttle Crab. You could have went top and got the wave. But you're wasting your time. It's a lot of free empty space right now. You're doing right now. You're doing nothing in this empty space. You're just walking around. You want to think in your head. What can I do in this situation? Most of the time, there's something you can do around the map. All right. It's not gonna take a note for you right now. Oops, I hit the mic by accident. It's a lot of empty space going on. And and you're positioning your maiden badly every time. You want maiden to be behind you a lot of the times. You can dive this. You can dive this very easily. Tell Spam ping Nocturne. Tell Nocturne to dive this. This is so free. There you go. He dives it. Alright, nice. Get a towel. Get a towel. Push it in. Push it all the way in. Help for the Herald. You got TP up as well. Drake's coming up, so if, if you need a, you might have to TP to help your teammate out right now. Your team's out. Get the Grump. Grump's coming up soon as well, so. Go for the tower, go for the tower. At this point, I'll just get a tower. Take the tower. Nah, he's not on a comp for 14 seconds. Everyone's fighting here, so it's a free tower, you know. Take that. Use your E, use your W. Alright, use your W. Nice nice use of W. Use your E as well, don't forget. Use your E. I, I don't say it enough, but you should use your E for the Sheen proc. Uh, I, should, I, should, I should probably say that a bit more. Alright, take Grump as well. Are you TP? Go for the Grump, go for the Grump. That's an extra full CS for you can take. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, this is this is bad. They're all rotating on you, they're gonna kill you now. No, no, you you just died now. As soon as I'm TP, what else you, you should have went and got Grump. You, you could have got Wolves, you could have backed, you could have resetted, you got this. Yo, you're missing out so what's the CS per minute? It's really low right now. You're missing out so much potential CS. So much XP wasted. You gave away a free kill for no reason. And now this guy, you baited this guy in as well. You're lucky you got away, but you baited him. This Grump is so free, you could have taken that. Like, you got a tower. That's nothing nothing more. They'll stop breeding for anything else. You got a tower, they got the Drake, alright? Once they get the Drake, what what do you think they're going to do? They're going to back. So what you what do you accomplish trying to fight this guy here? Even if you kill him, you're going to die to everyone else. You should have got the you should have got the tower, got the Grump, and, and got the Wolves and backed. And you would have so much gold. You would have been sitting on so much gold. We've got a nice big lead there. XP lead as well, actually. What level are you right now? How do you check? I'm so, I'm so bad at navigating through this. But I'm, 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 I'm guessing you're behind in XP because of what you've been doing. This guy runs in one v two. You're so aggressive. I don't know how he wins that. <laughs> nah, he's dead. Nah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, wait, he can. He, oh, nah, he's dead. He's dead. There's no way he's escaping that. But can you see you baited that? You baited that a lot because what you did is you stay overstayed. He overstayed as well. If he didn't overstay, he would have backed probably. But he didn't back and he stayed this whole time. This whole duration he's been staying this whole time, all the way up to here. So you indirectly got him killed. You see that? It's it's, it's strong. Overstaying is a very strong thing. You need to stop. It's a bad habit. Anyway, take this. It's still up. It's been up for the past the twenty minutes. Are you TPing now? Alright, so you see. Okay, you can get. You can get. 
It's a bit of a dirty TP. Let's see. Where can you go? Yeah, he didn't really accomplish anything on this TP, to be honest. He should have just taken the grump. He should have taken this and pushed. What I would have seen is me. What I would have done is I would have taken this and, and, and then assess the situation. There's nothing else you can do. Just take that and push it. This is the problem. A ram in. You're a ram in it. You're fighting for no reason. Your CS per minute is low. You you have no you have no. You should have a two level advantage on Mordekaiser, but you don't. All right. This is this is nonsense. He didn't do anything in the situation here. Look at that nice juicy wave you could have taken. You could have that scuttle crab you could have taken. You could look at that grump you could have taken. Look at that raptors you could have taken everything. <laughs> Crags, I mean, but you could have taken everything. You know, you could have such a. You could have two hundred CS by now. You're really underestimating the power of getting XP. It's not just CSing and having high CS per minute, but it's the XP, having a high XP, being level advantage uh, 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 on on top of everyone is a very strong ability. It's macro decisions basically. Makes it macro mistakes you made the. That grump is free by the way. <laughs> Jungle, you need you need to you need to assess this. Next time you go into a game, right? If you're watching this, next time you go into a game, any everyone that's watching this, if you see a free grump, a free grump. Free Krugs, and no one's gonna take it, alright? No one's gonna claim it. Just take it, please. I know I repeat it so many times, but I want to get it in your head. Free jungle camps, it can really help you. Just push in the wave out, I'll say right now. Push this in. No one's gonna turn to you. Push it in. What are you doing here? You got no TP, so you can't help them now, because you wasted your TP. See this? Bad A run from your team, but you have to keep pushing, I guess. You know everyone's around here. You don't know where Mordekai is. Oh, you just spotted him now. He's been spotted. So you know everyone's here right now. What the flip? Are they gonna get this in time? Oh no! Oh no! This is a disaster! Oh no! That is a oh <laughs> no! That is so sad. <laughs> Imagine if you had TP though. You could have TP'd onto the wall and got the Baron to help them, but you missed your TP, man. You got too excited and TP'd for no reason. Watch my TP guide. I've got a TP guide video. You should assess the situation and see that TP wasn't good. It's, it happens. Mistake happens. At least you get a tower. At least you can get a tower. You have to back off after getting this tower though. They have Baron buff. Oh no, you're over greeting it. You're greeting it. Wait, only one person backed. What the? F you can get this then. I don't only one person back. No, don't waste your time on Emma. Just get an in him and back off. You're lucky. Oh, why is no one backing? Hello, that's a free in him. Okay, good. I, I, I okay. I underestimated the 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 knowledge of silver players. They should have. Overestimate that. I mean, I overestimate their knowledge. They should have backed. They should have all backed and helped uh, defend it. I don't know why they did that. That's kind of stupid in their part. This is all. This is classical ARAM. It's, everyone's fighting everywhere. Right? There's no sense of direction going on. Oh, that was. Are you? <laughs> well, you need to. You need to uh, push out the bot wave now. Nocturne has top. Just go bot. Look at all these. Look at this. This has been up for the past twenty minutes. No one has taken this yet. Did you, have you have you seen how long this has been up for? Oh, now it's twenty two minutes in the game. Someone takes it. <laughs> Grump has been up forever. No one takes CS. No one. No one likes CSing in this either. CSing is so important. Oh yeah, Aram in at mid. I mean, you can force this because there's two people bot, but you're not doing that. So what I'll do is just go bot and just clear the wave up. Still, this Grump has remained remained untouched. <laughs> go take this wave. You don't want to fight this, you don't want to fight this. If they back off the take the wave uh, here, that's coming up. Take this wave, take this wave. Drake's coming up as well. So you want to take this wave and push it in ASAP. Ah, oh, you missed the wave, you should have taken the wave. If you push this wave out to get a uh, Drake advantage, because it, it just would have pushed in, but it's fine, it's fine. Draven will get this in. It will get the CS. You don't have uh, go up right now, so that's bad. Alright, you guys are rushing it. Bulls I mean you got full vision so I guess it makes sense. Alright, nice. I want you to back now. No point in overstaying. Back. Back and go 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 to another lane. What are you doing now? Oh yeah, A Remnant, you're gonna run mid. Your CS per minute is, is I don't think I think you stop CSing after laning phase, uh, to be honest my man. You, you this is why your CS per minute is low. I think on I I looked at your open GG before this game. Your CS per minute on average is low. This is why it's low. You stop CSing. You just you just stopped you stopped caring about CSing, you're just following your, your team around. What's this? What's this gonna achieve? You know, it's gonna achieve nothing. You should push top lane out. Instead, you're a ram in it. You just sacrifice your maiden again for no reason. Like, you you, you just bait this. You bait this. Run away. Run away. Go top. Push top up. Yorick Yorick is a split pusher. All right. So what I want you to do is be in the side lane. They have Baron buff anyway. So being this pushed up makes no sense. And there goes your maiden. It's really bad. You just bait your team into this. 
Alright, overall this is really bad from your whole team. Your whole team should not have been doing this. Why are you guys pushed up when they have Baron buff and your tower is all the way here, you know? They have Baron buff, they have level advantage at this point, they have damage advantage. You need to apply side pressure so they can attend to you and waste the Baron pushing power. What you do instead is you ARAM mid for no reason. Alright, this is a waste of time. Big waste of time. Now you're dead, and now everyone's dead, and that's an ace. They could probably take the in here by this point. They have Baron, and you just all died for no reason. Instead, you could have pushed this out. This would have pushed towards uh, the tower. And you could have applied side lane pressure, side lane pressure, you know? Inst oh, wait, the Baron ran out, but instead, you're A-ramming it for no reason, you know? A-ram issue, it hurts, it hurts to see, but stop A-ramming it, please. It's macro mistakes, mistake 101, A-ram. No, no point going mid lane for no reason when you have lanes to push out. Instead, they get it in him now, unfortunate. What you could have done, you just could have stood on, stayed on this tower, they would have ran out of Baron, and you could have defended it, or you could have side laned it, but again, I'm re I'm repeating myself. No point sounding like a broken record, it's already been done. in has gone. Alright, now I want you to go and get this camp and go top, but let's see what you do. Could have ca taken camp and blue, went to the blue side as well. Oh, don't, please, please don't say you're going to run down mid again. Please, please. Don't don't do it. No, don't. Your build pathing is alright, by the way. Merc would have been an option, but over your build path is alright. So third item, I'll probably go uh, armor. But then again, you need uh, anti healing as well. You missed out on anti healing, so you should have been bramble vest as well. Alright, cool. You guys are a it again. Just this. What's Yesi were doing here? I don't even know. Oh, you're dropping a BM. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's probably what happened down here. You're BMing before for no reason. Stop the BM. <laughs> alright, I'm playing the game. Okay, since you're bot side, you might as well push out the bot wave now. Waste of time, by the way. You should have went top this whole time. You got a ho no one has touched this wave for a very long time. It's been five minutes. No one has touched this wave. There's everyone's bot side now. You're wasting your time. You got TP, right? Back. Go t top. All right. Stop it. Stop pushing waves that doesn't need to get pushed. You need this wave. Look at look out. Look at this. Two cannon waves. Not one. Two. And you missed that. Oh. You would have been on 300 CS by now if, if you actually see us properly. Ugh. This is good, I guess. But you could have went top. Oh, that's going to push the Wizzy anyways. You're missing so much. So much has been missed. You should push this and backed. You, should have been, you shouldn't be here. You're wasting your time. You're overstaying for no reason again. Classic overstay. You don't want to fight either. You're overstaying. There's wave top. Has, still hasn't been pushed out yet. Why is Master E going in? I don't know. What? Oh, he's dead. Oh, uh, uh, Draven's dead. Uh, this, uh, this, is, this is this is doomed. Oh, yes, he was dead, though. Oh, it's looking good. I mean, MF is still alive, though. Alright. Uh, let me just analyze that team fight for you real quick. I'll just analyze it real quick. See what you could have done. I'm just going to watch you and see what you're doing. Okay. So they're fighting. He wastes his R. Draven's dead. What are you gonna do now? Let's see what you do. Okay, so you target. Okay, you just frontlined for no reason. Uh, general rule of sense: if you see the Draven die instantly, Draven was frontlining for some reason. As soon as they saw the Draven die, you should have just backed off. You should you should have retreat. You should have been on full full retreat mode as soon as Draven died. And Masi Masi insta died. He got insta gibbed. He, he got instantly killed. He is bad position. Why is Draven frontlining? I don't know, but. Look, this is what happens. Draven instantly dies. Okay, you have your W. You want to W the volley bit right now. That's what you want to do. You, got it. you kind of missed your W there. Yeah. It was just messy team fighting. Back off. Like, you're overstaying again. It's it's overstaying. Not understanding when your key... When your key teammate... When your key damage dealers are dead. Your Master D and your Draven. When they're dead, you want to back off. Alright. That's what you want to do. Overall, best case scenario, you don't want to be there in the first place. You wanted to be split pushing top lane, what you should have been doing at the beginning. You could have got this tower, since no one has attended that. And now they're going to probably end the game because of that. I mean, who's going to stop them? No one's going to stop them, you know? Your CS per minute is god awful, alright? Could have had so much more, more CS. That was really bad. Alright, so you got you made a mistake there, and the end of the game. So, very bad macro decisions. This could have been pushed out. You missed out on the potentially 300 CS. You could have got so many kills in the laning phase. Uh, you did you did one good play here though. I admit you did a good play there. So that was good. But yeah, overall the game's probably over now. Oh wait, is it? Nice, nah, it's over, it's over. Alright, GG. 
Alright, so these bullet points are basically showing you the main mistakes we made in this board that I've seen and what mistakes silver players will do on average, silver to platinum to diamond players, they all make these mistakes. So the first thing is learning when you can all in and that's to understand the matchups. And once you understand matchups, you'll play more confident because the whole time you're playing very indecisive, you're, you're missing auto attacks for no reason, you're running away and you're coming back after realizing you could win it. So you didn't even know if you could all in or not. And so yeah, just understand matchups. I have matchup videos, watch them, watch my stream so you can see how matchups work. But yeah, you need to understand when you can all in and stop cancelling auto attacks because you cancel auto attacks because you're not confident because you're running around thinking if you're gonna win or not, which is a problem. Learn to side lane because most of the time you're A ramming it. I don't know what you're doing most of the time, you're running at mid with your Master E and Draven, just running at mid doing nothing. You could have went bot this whole time uh, split push, you could have side lane to the bot lane. You could have done so many stuff, but you didn't apply any pressure, and that's the main strength of Europe, is applying sideline pressure, which you didn't do at all this whole game. Learning when to TP, you made a TP mistake, I mean, this is general common sense. I'm mean, not general common sense, general common mistake. You could, you learn how to TP over time with experience and, and just understanding how the fight is going out, but if you learn how to TP properly, you could start making those type of mistakes. And that, 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 that links with the side laning. If you, you need to side lane more so you can learn how to TP as well. Learn to CS because you're missing so much CS, alright? You're not even CSing half the time, half the time you're running at mid. So that links with ARAM in it, so stop for ARAM in it so you can learn how to CS. And you can see at side lane, see how they, they all link? Because one, one, they all link, all these links and you can you can escape silver so easily. And le learn wave management, that's a, another common mistake you made. You didn't shove it in when you should have shoved it in, you didn't freeze and should have freeze. And you didn't realise when he was freezing against you. You need to understand these indicators and you can learn that easily by going on YouTube and typing in how to learn how to wave manage, it's very easy. And so, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more knowledgeable content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We shall prevail. We have eternity.